when I started my work as the EU Commissioner for International Partnerships, I made reducing inequalities my overarching priority. Concord has been an indispensable partner in this quest. Your policy input and practical expertise help to ensure civil society's vital contribution to our international partnerships agenda. International partnership sounds very nice, but actually as a European Commissioner is rather lonely in this because there is a lot of expectations from uh, stakeholders and then you look for natural allies, uh, how to design best your programs and they are most efficient. So Concord definitely gave this understanding where EU money and effort should be put. We have a strategic partnership agreement with Concord, a long-standing one. Uh, the real added value that Concord uh, brings it really enables us uh, through your action, through your national members to hear uh, the voices of a panoply of diversity of civil society actors across uh, a large, uh, wide uh, geographic uh, and thematic scope. Members are at the core of the Confederation. I'm trying to never forget this uh, important statement. And um, remembering who's time back 2003, 2007, we were living the most uh, impressive enlargement of the European Union and welcoming uh, within Concord network uh, the so-called 12 new member states at that time, NGO platforms, was really a key challenge I enjoyed very, very much. Concord Europe uh, is about uh, having common fights and uh, common causes in spite of very different national contexts. But it's also about meeting new people and uh, learning if you have to kiss them, to hug them, to shake hands and living uh, a little bit of uh, uncomfortable situations. <laughs> but it's really great. I was new and I remember being so impressed with all these people all across Europe jumping into an email thread and Google Doc, contributing their expertise, um, discussing and having really qualitative um, arguments even with people they didn't even know but because they cared about the same thing. Concord stands for a world without poverty. Concord stands for a world where inequalities are not accepted. And Concord stands for a world where there are chances in the future for all. I still remember very well the first General Assembly of Concord in the year 2003 and the conviction that was there that this is the right step to get a strong civil society voice at the table together with the ones who are excluded and to make a case for a change how politics, how systems work. We succeeded in obtaining the European Commission's support to civil society engagement in the context of the EU-Africa partnership. And actually, we didn't do that alone. We did that building alliances with civil society actors from Europe and Africa. And that's actually the biggest achievement. Concord has been a partner of choice for us. Concord has been a partner that continues to be, to be primed on trust and coaching. One of the challenges that we suffer as organizations in the South are partners who are not indeed partners whose relationship is primed and premised on control and mistrust. But as you celebrate 20 years of service, we just want to join you in saying thank you. Thank you for being the kind of interlocutor between the South and the European Union. Thank you for being the supporter in capacity enhancement to many of the organizations that are in the South. Concord acts as a friend, you know, a friend that you can re that, uh, that you can always, always rely on anywhere on the African continent whenever we want to, to get some things done in Europe, whether it is knowledge, information, whether whatever it is, you can always bank and on Concord. And for me, I think uh, if there is anything that would be great is the fact that uh, in Concord we have found a friend. What I cherish the most are the inspirational people I met over the years I worked for Concord. Working closely together with the different co-chairs and steering group members from the working parties, some of which I still consider my friends today. Um, 
listening to the stories from the, the other Beyond 2015 regional coordinators and partners from around the world, and of course, some great parties. From the Irish pub and karaoke bar night in Busan, South Korea, to the legendary Overt Secretariat Christmas parties. Uh, we were together in Budapest, a group of 60, 70 of us, to talk about campaigning and communications. That night was the US elections 2016 and we went for a beer that turned into very many beers and observing the election over the night. Um, we woke in the morning to a dark day for the world, um, but it was made a little less dark by the fact that we were together. And um, yeah, perhaps that's the other present that Concord gave me beyond being a more political person is remembering the importance of solidarity and togetherness, uh, no matter how dark the situation. We developed our strategy in a spirit of togetherness because it's really obvious that together we're stronger. Together in Europe, together with our partners around the world, fighting for the rights of everyone, all our rights. But actually, the process for developing the strategy was um, made more difficult, let's say, by doing it during the global pandemic, when the whole point was to keep us apart so we couldn't be together. But that reinforced the very essence and importance of togetherness. And it became really obvious what the strategy needed to be about. Uh, the tone, the theme, the thrust and the aim. But now, of course, we have to implement it. And the fun starts. And Concord is a really great place to be right now because we've got so many ideas. We really want to challenge received wisdoms, traditional ways of working, the system that's all broken. And we're really ready for doing this, all of us together. So greetings to Concord in its 20th anniversary. The best for its members, leaders and partners. Happy 20th birthday to you all. Bon anniversaire. I wish you a great and brilliant party. Grattis på födelsedagen. I wish you a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. So with all these wonderful warm wishes from so many friends, Here's to the next 20 years striving to achieve equal and just societies in a sustainable world. Now let's celebrate. I'm going to go and get a glass of wine.